Hello and welcome back to PSD to HTML. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the corporate web design that we're going to be building in HTML and CSS throughout the rest of the course. And this particular design was created for the Mastering Corporate Design course. And we designed this particular site using Photoshop. Now we're going to take that Photoshop file and talk about how we can build that particular design using HTML and CSS. So in your project files folder for this course, you'll find a file called corporatedesign.psd. I'm going to double click on that to open that up in Photoshop. Now in order to see this a little bit better, I'm going to turn off our guides by hitting Command H on a Mac or Control H if you're using a PC and then Command 1 or Control 1 to zoom in to 100%. And then I'm going to hit F twice on the keyboard to get rid of all of the extras in Photoshop so that we can just see the design by itself. And then I'll also hit Command R or Control R to turn off our rulers. So here's the basic design. And I want to point out that we are going to change a couple of things in this particular design when we port it over to HTML and CSS. The main thing that's going to be changing are going to be the icons. For example, we pulled in some free icons from some other websites that we displayed in this particular design, like the social media icons in the upper right hand corner, as well as the icons that we used in the navigation and in the unordered list over here in the from the blog section. So we're actually going to be using different icons. Instead of using images for icons, we're going to be using the font awesome glyph font. And this glyph font is the same font that's used in the bootstrap framework that Twitter put together. So this is a very widely used font and it's great for displaying icons at any size. So basically the icons we're going to be using here are just built into a font which is advantageous for us because then we can display that font at any size and the icon will look good. We don't have to worry about creating our icon images at the right size. Instead, we can just resize them using our CSS. So as we work through the rest of this course, we're going to build this site from scratch using HTML and CSS. So we're going to be focusing on HTML5 and CSS3 as we work through this course. And again, we're going to make some small changes here and there, but for the most part, this is the design we're going to be working with. So in the next video, we'll get started by building out the HTML for our site. So thank you for watching and I'll see you then.